I am Jidin Joy from Electromechanics, Mechanical Engineer. This is our treated fresh air unit. The main purpose of this unit is to supply fresh air to the confined space inside the building. So we have, this is the supply portion and here we have the return side. And we have this chilled water connections which supply chilled water from the chiller pump rooms. Okay. So this will be the, this chilled water will treat the fresh air coming inside the unit. And here we have a supply fan. This fan blower will act as a supply fan and this will be taking sucking inside air from the uh, outside and it will do, provide to the inside the building and in addition to that we have a return, ex uh, return fan which will suck hmm. during this process uh, uh, there's chance of plenty amount of cold air that means the energy the cooling energy has been lost outside to prevent that to tap in back the cold air of the inside the room we have a heat recovery wheel you can see inside a heat recovery wheel so this is made up of a desiccant coating which will trap the cool coolness of the air from inside the building which is going to be blown out and it will be transferred to the outside fresh air which is coming inside the building in this way care we can save a lot more energy instead of cooling the whole fresh air this desiccant wheel will trap the coolness of the air inside hmm and it will be supplied to the fresh air. Okay. So this is the purpose of a treated fresh air unit. These are the uh, filters hmm. to filter the dust and all polluted materials from hmm. the fresh air which is entering inside the uh, unit. Hmm. So you can see the filters inside. Hmm. And these are the dampers. Hmm. You can adjust the airflow intake with these dampers. Okay. okay. And here you can see the extractor. Okay. This fan will extract the polluted air from inside the building and it will be blown outside. Uh -huh. Okay. And this will be the main provider of fresh air inside the buildings. Okay. So the main purpose of this unit is? To give fresh air. Fresh air? Yeah, fresh air. Uh, because we need to recycle the air inside the buildings okay. every time. Okay. So we need to take out the polluted air outside the building and we have to introduce fresh air from outside. Okay. So this will be primarily done by these units. Okay. This is going to be used only in a mall or in residential buildings as well? Basically in malls only. Residential buildings we have already have these windows and doors are plenty of windows and doors will be there which okay. will be frequently opened and closed. That's okay. always a chance of this is a normal air handling unit which is we used to just condition the air inside the building spaces. And it's it works as normal uh, system like they, they it have a blower fan and a cooling oil and a filter section. Okay, so this what you see is the chilled water piping which supplies the chilled water to the system mm. and we have two isolation valves mm. and a bypass valve. Mm. This bypass valve is completely purely for a freshing system. Mm. Before starting the system we have to drain out and clean the pipes inside. Okay. So we will close these uh, two valves and we will open the bypass valve. So okay. it will be circulated inside mm. and no portion of dirt will be entering inside the cooling valve. Okay. So this is only to protect the cooling valves okay. and main Okay. And here we have a strainer also additionally to trap the solid particles inside the system so we can clean the strainer every one month or two months as it required so that the, uh, the chilled water will be free of particles okay. and here we have a motorized valve or mm. PIC pressure independent control valve mm. which operates upon the temperature demands mm. so when no more cooling is not required mm. so this valve will be closing automatically closed and it will it will it will not consume that much water flow inside the system okay Whenever so it will automatically close it will automatically close in case of a cooling demand increases it will auto automatically Open hmm. to let the chilled water go inside the coil segment. Okay. okay. And here, as we saw before, this is our filter section, hmm. which from here where you can see the hollow opening from hmm. where the return air from the building ah. will be coming back to the unit. Okay. From and these these walls. These openings. Ah. And from after the filtering, after going through these filters, it ah. will be uh, free of dust and uh, particles, ah. and with clean air will go inside the mixing chamber, inside the chamber, a uh, cooling coil section. Okay. Once it pass, passes through the cooling coil, the okay. cooling coils will be supplied always to the chilled water from mm. the chilled water pump. Mm. And once the return air passing through this cooling oil, mm. it will be cold, mm. it will be chilled, mm. and it will be blown to the inside building mm. through these blower fans. Okay. And during this process, we have uh, we will be dehydrating the air inside. Mm. The uh, the humidity of the air in the building will mm. be trapped, mm. and it will be drained out through the condensate drain pipes. Uh -huh. So these trays are for the condensate tray mm. and it will be uh, discharged uh, to outside. But this is very heavy equipment, it will vibrate the building. Yeah, we, we have vibration isolators here mm. for the fan. These are the only vibration portion inside this uh, machine, okay. these motors. Okay. So these have vibration isolator springs inside, okay. so which will isolate the vibration of these motors to mm. the unit. Okay. And in addition to that, we have anti-vibration pads also. Okay. It's just an additional provision we are providing to prevent the vibrations to pass on to the building structure. Okay.
one is the return air coming inside the AC from the building and this is the supply air going out to the building. Okay. Which is, the supply air will be cold. This is uh, having a 22 kilowatt motor and the cooling load is 414.88 kilowatt cooling load. Mm -hmm. So this is specifically for this machine mm -hmm. and it varies upon different machines. AC from carrier and these chillers will cool the water return from the building and it will be supplied back to the building. So these cool the, these are the basic part of the HR system in this, in this project. So these chillers, as you can see here, these are inlet. This line is the, it will take the chilled water from the building to the chiller. And inside the chiller, it will cool the water and it will be served back to the building. And so in this system, we have two modules for each chiller. And these two modules are being interconnected by these pipelines. And these are the shells and the, and the cooling coils. You can see the condenser coils here. These are condenser these coils. These are condenser coils and these are air cooled chillers. Air cooled chillers. Cool chiller. What is the difference? Means in a water cooled chiller, you will have a cooling towers and cooling plant. Okay. So water will be used to cool the take back the heat load from the chilled water. Okay. Here it will be directly dissipated to the air. It's not cooled by the air itself. Okay. So so this will be beneficial or this, the other one? This the this will be less efficient. The water cooled chillers will be more efficient but more complicated and needs more maintenance and the cost will also be higher. Okay. But air cooled chillers are simple and robust and the end, but less efficient. Less efficient. Less efficient and maintenance free. Maintenance is also less for that. So how many chillers we have? We have four chillers with eight modules and two modules constitute one chiller. Okay. And each chiller should be given with a gate valve and okay. strainer okay. and a motorized valve also. Okay. So these motorized valves will operate as per the temperature requirements. You can see the motorized valve over there. These are? Mm. These are the motorized These are the motorized valves, but actually these are not installed. Okay. And these are the uh, DRVs. Okay. This is to check the flow rate inside the system. Okay. So through these test codes, we mm. can check the flow rate running mm. through the pipe lines. Mm. And these are the flexible connectors. The main thing is the heat load of the building. Okay. So we have to first calculate the heat load which is required in the building. So okay. means for that we need to check the temperature, weather conditions in the locality. Okay. The building heat loads, the electrical equipment okay. and the fissures, the creeping of the heat loads through the windows and glasses. Mm. All those things will constitute for the heat loads. And also the occupancy of the inside the building. Okay. The number of people inside the building also will constitute for the heat loads.